All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about habit building. All right, let's talk about the loop. So the way habits are formed, you have a cue, you have a routine, you have a reward. If you think about waking up in the morning, you brush your teeth, and then you feel better. Well, the cue, you wake up, the routine is brushing your teeth, and then the reward is your mouth isn't fucking disgusting. Pretty simple example, but it kind of paints the picture. So if you're trying to form a new habit, you're gonna have to have a cue. Maybe it's driving to the gym, the routine, working out, the reward, you feel better. You need to set it up in that structure and that's how that's gonna go. Okay, compounding interest. I'm sure you've all, or you've all heard of the 1% better kind of thing. 1% better every day, compounds over time is what I'm trying to say. And with that, there's a lot of truth to it because there's gonna be a lot of times where you just don't see the effects of what you're doing. Like right now, I'll use myself as an example, losing weight. I don't always notice the changes. That's why it's important to do any kind of tracking, that way you don't get discouraged along the way. But 1% better every day is gonna make a big difference in your life because if you're constantly improving, you will eventually see your life and your universe, the world you live in, change around you. It's undeniable. If things constantly are getting better, your world will too. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about, just overcoming challenges along the way. Honestly, when you form new habits, it's difficult. Change is hard, but you need to give yourself little reminders, probably in the form of rewards along the way that are gonna be able to help you maintain these habits and turn them into a lifestyle, turn them into something that's gonna be part of who you are and you identify as going forward. And that's all I got today. I'm a little tired, I just wanted to touch on that and just go for it. Okay, I'll just do this really quick. Right now, my daily goals, uh, pretty much good actually. Um, I did this, did this, did this, so really all I have to do is upload the content. And as far as weekly goals go, I need to establish some new ones. So I'm gonna work on finishing this today and then I'll be good. And I think tomorrow morning is probably when I'll just go over the weekly goals. I kinda like Monday more than Sunday. It's like the beginning of the week, but that's just me personally. So yeah, things are good. Goal setting's good. Try it. <laughs>
And I think that can be really difficult because in our heads we think, oh, I work out every day and I eat healthy. Why don't I have a six pack now? Now, 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 why isn't it here? And the reality is sometimes those things you kind of have to earn and it takes time. And I don't mean that in the grind set, mindset kind of a way. I, as much as I like to stay busy and you know preach filling your time the best you can. I mean, we all are human beings and we all have needs and we all, if we're constantly going every day, there's there's gonna be a burnout that happens. And I think that's something that we, we could all focus on a little bit more and just appreciate the journey and appreciate the daily compounding, I guess, almost interest of us investing in ourselves. So that's just something I think about. I used to be somebody who, you know, when I first started to work on self-help or self-improvement, I would jump in super hardcore and just like a sprint. You know, you always hear the phrase, it's not a marathon or it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And fuck, if you jump in and you, you know, you change everything day one, that's awesome. Just understand that you're going to be extremely uncomfortable. And that's good because when we're uncomfortable, we're able to grow, but making super duper drastic changes all at once is hard, you know, sometimes to stick or stick to or have them transform into daily habits, you know what I mean? And I think that's something that, you know, we do too often. I mean, it was just the first of the year and how many people, they change everything all at once and you know a couple weeks go by and they get burned out they get discouraged because change takes time and they give up and that's i get it it's sad it's sad when you you think you've made these monumental changes which you have but the results aren't there yet and that's difficult but it takes time and having the ability to build these daily habits and you know track the progress, whether it's just mentally or through if you're doing weight loss, you know, pictures every other week or whatever works for you, or albeit, you know, I'm not a big fan of checking the scale, but that can work too. I guess what I'm trying to say is that learning to appreciate how the daily habits can change us over time instead of just looking at it like this thing that you have to do, I think is what what's important in the journey. You know what I mean? And I mean, it takes a lot. And then there's always gonna be setbacks and there's always gonna be things that happen that shut you down. But just finding the, I guess the way to just always remember, going back to the phrase, it's a marathon. And if you're investing in yourself every day, and as long as you're getting a little bit better, it's going to it's gonna make a monumental difference, whether it's three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, two years, the rest of your life. Like once those habits become part of who you are, you change as a person and the world, the world around you will change. I'm getting a little cold, so. But yeah, it was just, uh, that was something I really wanted to talk about today because I think it's easy for us to, like I said, get down on ourselves and when we don't see the change that we want super fast, we we give up and I just, I'm, I'm begging you not to go that way. I don't. Because it's, it's almost like right when you quit, you are so close, like every time. I, I mean, I feel like I've lived that too. But... Now I'm starting to shake. I said it for 10 minutes, but sometimes I feel like that's a little, a little extra. Mm. But yeah, habits, habits make us who we are. And you know, I don't wanna just keep ranting on it, but it's the truth. Oh, what do we think, seven minutes? That's, that's good, that's uh, not to be a quitter, before 10, but I can build into 10. I've been doing five minutes for a while, so. We'll give it 30 more seconds. I feel like that's the end of the conversation I wanna have, so I think that's a good point. I've made progress in how long I sit in here. My voice is starting to quiver. I think we nailed it today. I think we're good, but. Habits define us, so. 
maybe there's a small thing in your life that you can change and you can embrace and just try to see how it can really, as you build into it, like change you over time. You know what I mean? Because it really does. It adds up. We just don't see what we want. Oh. 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 We. On that note, I'm out. Oh. Oh, at least out of the tub. But now I'm out of here. <laughs>